there's already vultures and crows circling above me. Does this point out some? Hi everyone and welcome to the Vinnie Vizzle vlog. If you follow this channel, you might know that I recently bought a new one wheel XR. It's a hardware 4212. I've heard a lot of complaints about the front foot pad sensor because it seems to be a lot less sensitive than the older versions because they now have a plastic layer underneath the grip tape. I don't really know why they did that. I never had any issues with my 4209 and I don't really know why they put that extra layer under there. So with buying this one wheel, I definitely want to give it a decent test. And since it's as flat as a pancake here, that's not really a challenge for the one wheel. So we're going to the Ardennes, the little mountains that we have here in Belgium, to give the one wheel XR with the hardware 4212 a decent test. So follow me. I think I found my spot for today. Yesterday upon arriving I was too motivated and I had one ride without protection on the bumpers and check it out. Check the damage already done from just one session. It's quite knackered here and there. So first off, I'm gonna put some float plates on. I couldn't order the bank bumpers because they're never available. So I'm gonna hit those float plates under there that at least I get some protection because the standard bumpers from Future Motion are definitely damaging so hard and so easily that we yeah, definitely need some protection on this new XR. going on a ride on this beautiful day but my battery is fully charged and I have to go downhill for quite a while so first I'll take off some percentages of the battery so that I don't nosedive in the downhill because if you overpower the motor by riding downhill with a full battery you can also have issues so always take that in mind before you leave if you have a downhill with a full battery is too steep to drop <laughs> but definitely good drop over there i do have different shoes on because i wanted to have more grip in these trails it kind of feels funny on the concrete roads so i hope uh, it's a good thought for uh, the trails but it feels funky it kind of has a small heel and i'm used to a flat shoe so that's gonna be a challenge so i found a little trail over here don't know if it's gonna be shreddable because it has been raining for a while now Let's just whoop, pop up there, see if we can get up the trail and up that mount. Check out the views over here. How cool is it to shred a one wheel in these kind of environments? Just love it. But we have to get under this. <laughs> So going uphill is definitely a challenge, but the XR manages very well. Although I noticed that it already chunked away 20% of my battery and I'm only about one kilometer out. So I will do have to take this in mind because it's going up and down. And I have this uh, trail that I want to do. It's quite a few kilometers. So I have to keep my eye on that battery so that I'm sure that I can get back home because it regenerates while going down and braking, but not enough to get that machine up these hills and stuff. So uh, follow me to see if I get back home. <laughs> We 
ended up here with a little walk in the last spot because it was getting too chunky with tree roots and stuff but now it seems to flatten out i'm at the ridge of this hill it's not a mountain it's still belgium so let's see where this leads us and if you can still shred so let's see you down there nice obstacles over here definitely well built but I just started my ride I'm a bit unstable on these new shoes and I'm not comfortable enough to hit this thing although it looks so mighty fine it even has a little bunk right here but you have to respect your limits always know you're riding I'm all alone here on this mountain nobody that can help me i do have a phone but in these areas there's a lot of times when you don't have any reach so if you're on a group ride go as bananas as you want you can always get help if i would get stuck here it would be a different matter don't do anything crazy if the situation doesn't ask for it and this doesn't ask for it Feisty drop in and this is where you get all the gravel and you start to tail drag and then you still have to drop so that makes it a bit of a challenge but we made it we freaking made it Something to nudge. After riding this one wheel for a couple of days in the little hills that we have here in Belgium I was able to test it pretty properly I didn't really have any issues with the footpad sensor I even did some uphill and downhill tests on pretty rough terrain so my front foot was jumping all over the place and still the sensor didn't bother me with not engaging I even took out some shoes that were not ideal to ride the one wheel and still I didn't have any issues with the sensor not engaging while riding it was a very cool ride I got to do a lot of cool things learned a few new tricks and definitely had a challenge on that drop with all the gravel and such but I really love how these machines handle those things and it's quite amazing how we can get a good control on this piece of tech and I really see a lot of more options so I'm looking forward to pushing my limits and the board's limits in the near future so if you want to see more stay tuned and on that note I'm gonna love you and leave you peace out and see you on the next one BAM! <laughs>